Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I keep forgetting to show this off. How, what kind of items I have and how much items I have. I actually haven't been going back to the mushroom houses. Or I, should say, I should say the item houses to go back and get items. So that's why I have such a low amount of all of these. But as you can tell, I've got a ton of mushrooms. But I don't really use them much, obviously. I don't know why I don't really. Uh, a lot of people have said that I should just be using my mushrooms. I guess I'm, I don't know, maybe old-fashioned in that way, that I just don't, like, typically use items all that much. Uh, like, like in games in general. I, I usually just focus on, like, pure platforming skill more than anything. So, I guess that's why items aren't really a, a first thought that comes to mind when I have trouble beating a level. The first thing that comes to mind is just to try it again, uh, which sometimes isn't really that wise, but I still do it anyway. And, uh, yeah, you get the idea. So, now as you can tell, we're in a, a cloudy world. It's pretty awesome, I have to say, even though it's got some pretty annoying coin locations, but that is to be expected. I mean, this is World 7 we're talking about here. We're nearing Endgame, and actually I should be checking these pipes just in case. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that there are some uh, hidden areas that you'll need to go down into in one of these, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not positive, but we're, we're just gonna see. Oh, I see a coiny coin, 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 Oh, I want coin, coin. Come on. Come on. Jump, jump. Yeah. Okay, that was the first one. So, I didn't miss any up to this point. So, let's go through here and check around and hopefully not die. Why am I not using my fireballs against these prana plants? See, this is what I mean about me not using items and just using pure platforming skill to get past things. That's that's just how I roll, I guess. <laughs> I'm, I guess I'm more methodical than I am just like powering through things. Oh, you can go down this pipe. Uh, this might contain a secret. Um, this definitely looks secret worthy, that's for sure. Woo! That was unnecessary, especially when I still have 99 lives! <laughs> uh, ooh, now this is something I could use! Oh, this coin! I remember this coin. This coin gave me a lot of trouble here. Uh, basically, basically, you got something like that, but if you don't have a power-up, you're gonna have a lot of trouble making that. Yes, I've done it power-up lists before, you know, without the propeller mushroom. I definitely don't recommend you do it that way, though. It's pretty annoying. And, uh, oh, this is gonna reverse direction. Oh, look at that sideways question mark blocks. And I never really noticed that before. And even these blocks go sideways. That's pretty nice. Uh, I doubt you can go down these pipes because they're animated. You know, usually you can't go down a pipe that's moving. Usually. Uh, at least I don't remember any that you can go down when they're moving like that, you know, up and down. Still looking for coin number three. So far I'm not having too much trouble at this level, as I'm probably going to die since I just said that. <laughs> uh, oh, there it is. Um, I could probably just like go up and yeah, do it like that and plop down over here. Hopefully the end is coming up soon, because this, this was a pretty good run. Uh, I think it is, because this pipe looks like, yeah, you can enter it. So this is probably the ending run. Wah! 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 Whoa! Okay, that was overkill. <laughs> and that's the end of the level. Mario time. Happy days. So, let's see what's up next. Hopefully nothing too annoying. <laughs> well, I've got a propeller mushroom, so that'll definitely help me find some secrets. If there's any around here. No, I should say any major secrets, pardon me. And 7-2. Here we go! Whoa! Nelly! <laughs> the chain chomp! So I really don't want that fire flower. So I'm just gonna go up and over like that, yeah. Uh, these are water bubbles. I remember the stage now. I, I guess this is like uh, a giant cloud we're inside or something like that. Because, you know, clouds are made up of tiny water droplets. Well, evidently these are able to float in the air despite their massive size. 
Right, I guess we shouldn't really question that too much, and uh, it also looks like it's slightly raining, unless that's the, uh, the signal, because I split the signal on the TV, or there could be some disturbance. No, I don't think it's raining. I don't, yeah, I don't think it's actually raining. <laughs> so it must be my TV signal, pardon me. Um, so, let's... Oh yeah, you can also ground pound those stakes to let loose the chomps like that. Which you're gonna have to do to get in this one here. Uh, I'm gonna wait for him to do his thing like that. And then I'm gonna release the dogs! <laughs> and yeah, there we go. First coin is right there. And you'll notice that, that chomp just went right through the blocks with no problem uh, on its own. I think it's programmed to do that actually. Hey, hey, don't bite my ankles. No ankle biters today. Okay, where are you gonna go? Uh, you're gonna go there, so I'm gonna go this way. And hopefully not die. That would be pretty nice. And what's down there? I see a platform. What's down here? Nothing? No. Oh, look at that. How, look at all the bullets slow down as they go inside the water. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, there's a pipe here. It's a good thing that I spun on my way down there. So let's see what's in this pipe, because I didn't see that as I was passing by. Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> so there's coin number two, I guess. And what is this? What's the point of this side if there's only going to be a coin? Oh, 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 oh! Ah! I knew there was more to that than what it seemed. Especially when there was arrows around there. Let's go up back up here and see where coin number three is. Um, where did I... I mean, where was I before? Oh, that was sneaky. I would have missed this coin if I wouldn't have went backwards. That looked like I went further back than I remember in this level. I mean, I went further forward through this level than I remember. So, yeah. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh. Well, I guess that's the end of the level then, because there's, I got all three coins, and there's a the goal. <laughs> Woo! This is going pretty smoothly. I remember level 7 being a real pain to me. Although I'm saying this now, but I'm only through the first two stages in it, so I'm probably going to regret saying that later. I certainly hope not, because this is going really smoothly. No cuts whatsoever at this point, too. Uh, 7-3. Here we go! And we got a loading screen, just breaking up the action and excitement. So, oh, the fuzzies! You gotta love the fuzzies. They're always so silly and... Oh, this this stage had a secret that gave me a lot of trouble. Um, I believe it was a vine in a hidden block or something somewhere. Uh, I don't remember where it was, but I, I probably will once I see it. This is probably a power-up. Yep. Just as I expected. And, oh, there's coin number one. Uh, I'm gonna do that, and, oh, I was gonna say, and not take a hit, but I ended up taking a hit. Uh, so I'm gonna let that critter go on his own like that. And looks like I got a double dose of fuzzy fun coming my way. And that's not the good kind of fuzzy fun. So, I'm gonna let you guys go like that, and... I, I, I really get the feeling that I missed the coin, the second coin already, because it was the second coin that gave me a lot of ire before in this one. Um, well, there's, there's a propeller mushroom. I might as well check through the skies, just to be sure. Because uh, you never know what's hiding up above the screen. The screen hides many mysteries. It holds the meaning of life, maybe. <laughs> Perhaps, could be, you never know. And there's another propeller mushroom for whatever reason. And, uh, I mm, just want to see if there's anything around here that the switch will pop, make pop up. And that was stupid on my part. I should have ducked. Um, anything over here? Ow. Uh, there's a lot of pain, that's for sure. So, we don't want any of that, that's for sure. Unless you kind of live off of pain, but I don't see why anyone would live off of pain. That seems kind of counterproductive, actually. Um, uh, let's just skip that and see what's up ahead. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I'm really hoping I didn't miss anything. 
Uh, there's a fuzzy onslaught coming here, and there's another coin also over here. I bet you those fuzzies are coming back. Yep, they are gonna cause trouble. Lots and lots of trouble! Oh, that's coin number three. Okay, so I am missing number two somewhere. I knew it! Oh, I'm gonna have trouble finding it, finding it again, aren't I? So, uh, I guess... Oh, boy. <laughs> I knew that was gonna be trouble. Oh, okay, I would like to get... Not that. <laughs> I was hoping for the fire flower, but I was way off there. Oh, well. Um, just for the heck of it, is there any power-ups in here? Anything? No? Okay. Uh, that platform's just gonna do its thing, and I'm just gonna do my thing and go under here. Because I, I, I didn't miss anything behind... I mean, I know the coin is before that third coin, so I'm gonna have to be back here later. I'll see when I find the third coin. I think I remember where it is. Yep, that's where it is. That's why I couldn't find it. That little flower indicates where you're supposed to go, and yeah, you get the idea. Um, just for the heck of it, can I get that without the P-switch? No? Just, let's just try this one more time. Um, I, I just want to see for the fun of it if I can get it without... No, I really can't, so okay. Unless maybe I do a triple jump and then spin or something. But, uh, it doesn't seem really worth it when you could just easily get it this way with the, uh, uh, P-switch like that. Anyway, let's end the stage. And, uh, there we go. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. Well, now that I found it before in my other playthrough, I, I think if I did this, like, blind or something, I would have had a lot, a lot more trouble. Um, I can tell I already have, I mean, I have plenty more time to do uh, Ludwig's Fortress here. So I might as well go ahead and do this, because uh, there's a pretty good amount of time left over on the camcorder. Okay, you've got this thing right here. It tilts and it weaves, depending on which uh, way you lean the weaver mode, basically. And whenever you touch solid ground like that, uh, you, you lose control over this platform. So try not to do that too often, unless you purposefully want to stop the platform for whatever reason. So keep your eyes peeled for uh, coins, and that's basically it with this fortress here. There, There's a lot more bullets coming up ahead, so get used to dodging them on this platform. Um, the best way to dodge them is just to aim for openings and then jump on the bullets as you go. That's just the easiest way that i found to dodge these bullets at least. And I touched solid ground, so... That likely means I won't be able to get all of these. Oh, I did get them all! Woo! Even though it's for a 1-up, which is completely useless to me. <laughs> it, I, I just keep gaining lives, and yet my life color doesn't keep going up. Oh, it stops at 99. They put a cap on it. Oh, uh, yeah, we got some bonsai builds now. These aren't any harder than your normal bullet bill, except that they you know, take up more room, and that doesn't really make things harder, actually, because it still has the range and the trajectory as normal bullet bills. Okay, that's the first coin. Now, over here, if you don't have a propeller mushroom, you're gonna have to do something like that, then go up over the ceiling, and... Coin number two. Yeah, they do that. Anyway, here's the checkpoint, and... I believe there's a secret exit in, in this level, too, somewhere. Um, look out for this section. This section is probably the hardest part of the level. Well, it's the final part of the level, so rightfully so, it should be. Um, there's bombs being shot out of cannons, as you can see there. Uh, it, it's kind of cheap in the way that they're kind of ambushy. Uh, yeah, you might actually want that ice flower in a way, so keep that, keep that around, because if you keep that and a bob -omb walks into another frozen bob -omb, what'll happen is that it'll change oh, direction, and it, it won't harm you then. And you can also use the ice to sweep off a bunch of them at once, like if you were to pick up one that's frozen, and then just... Oh, I see what you want me to do here. <laughs> and if you pick up one that's frozen, you will... Oh, that was so close. And then attempt to sweep it across the ground, you'll just clear off the whole platform of bob -ombs. And I've really got to get into there with ye old bob -omb. You know what, I'll just take the hit. Because <laughs> I really don't want to get too far away from this platform. I should say get away from the opening with that uh, coin, because I won't be able to jump back down to it. Okay, we're 
looking for a power up around here. Oh? Oh? I need a power up, please. Well, I don't need a power up. As I said earlier, this part, they're not necessary for me. Uh, so, there we go. Let's go to Ludwig. Hey, how's it going? So, uh, he's got his magic blasts, and he jumps in the air, he kind of flutter jumps like Yoshi there. He only does it a few times, and then he stomps on the ground like that, and I took a hit because I was being stupid there. <laughs> and once he pops back up, I should be able to do something like that. Uh, because he aims forward first when he shoots his uh, magic blasts, and I should have uh, attempted to hit him there. By the way, they're homing blasts. In case you don't realize that, and use his fourth stomp, and that's it. I should say his fourth hover. He does like four hover hover jumps in midair like Yoshi, and then he drops down to the ground. And that's the fortress. Um, I thought there was a secret exit in there, but I just... Uh, I don't remember where it was, or if it is actually in here. Maybe, maybe it's just the house that I'm thinking of, the ghost house. Um... Hmm... Because I could have swore that there's a secret exit that goes to the right and then up to those other clouds over there. Here, I'll show you. I'll uh, click on the map here. Yeah, yeah, I'll save. <laughs> so, A to view the map, and then you can go up to here. I'm pretty sure there's a secret exit in this fortress, so I'm going to cut over to it. Ah, you can go in there! I see, and I bet you have to use those bullets to get way up to the top of this flagpole, but I'm not going to do that. There's the secret exit. That's the end of this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.